back. So uh, today we will try to uh, revive uh, this uh, battery. So I've been trying to uh, charge this. At first I uh, did the parallel uh, charging. After that I uh, charged uh, this directly with the charger itself. And at first it says uh, 100% but somehow a couple of days uh, later it shows uh, 98 and all of a sudden it shows uh, state of charge is 0%. But uh, when I measure the voltage and uh, connect to the air compressor, it was working, but uh, not too strong. Initially, when I uh, put this out at the Bluetooth uh, speaker, it shows a uh, 9.29 volt. Let me uh, measure the voltage right now. So it shows uh, 10.37, it was showing uh, 10.42, but I was uh, running on the compressor a little bit, so the voltage has been dropped. I'm pretty sure the sulfuric assay in there is uh, kind of dried up, so we're going to attempt to open the top plate and then uh, pop up the six of the rubber uh, seal or rubber uh, cover and uh, add some distilled water or maybe uh, add some more sulfuric acid. So uh, these two foam, the strap or the strip is in, in the way of this cover. So I might cut it. So that's just a tiny uh, flathead screwdriver. Now I'm going to use a bigger one to pry uh, out the top plastic cover. So as you see, it's very dangerous. It just uh, pop. Uh, lucky I was wearing my uh, glasses and wearing the glove. Make sure you have distilled water right next to you in case it pop like that. Maybe because uh, I was uh, using the compressed air to uh, use this uh, battery. Wow, I'm not sure if I want to open the other one. <laughs> Alright, so just that one. I'm not sure that maybe that one has a bad cell or something got heated.
It's good thing that they put the filter to trouble the acid in case it leaks out. The old one doesn't have that. Yeah, I don't see any uh, liquid, so I'm gonna add some more distilled water in there. I'm going to add uh, one milliliter of the sulfuric acid in there on each cell. So I'm going to add 3 milliliter each cell and then the rest is going to be distilled water.
All right, so uh, after you fill it up, as long as you can see the water or the sulfuric acid and mix with water that's floating up there, then you should be fine for now. And you want to uh, charge it or pair of charging with the cap that's uh, open, okay? Because uh, when you charge it, uh, it tends to heat up and uh, you need to add some more uh, distilled water in there. So I lost the other cap, I'm not sure where it fly to, so I'm gonna find it. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, put it on the charger. So uh, before we go put on the charger, I wanna see the voltage real quick. Point four zero. All right, so for this battery, I'm uh, hooking up to this uh, Viking charger that I have. Uh, it's charging at 13.5, 13.6 uh, volt right now. As you see, the gauge it shows about three quarter. So yeah, we're gonna let it charge until like a couple hours later and come back and check on it. All right, so I just add some more uh, electrolyte or the acid, battery acid. I'm gonna measure the voltage. So I've been charging here and there. Uh, and now it shows at uh, 11.5. So that's better than uh, 10.4 and we will need to charge it again once I refill it and sometimes you need to drain uh, the battery a little bit and charge, drain, charge like that to recondition it. So I hook it up with my compressor again, press for the battery level, now it shows that 2 LED, turn it on. <laughs> 